What is up everyone, Barricade here and bringing you guys another episode of Gears of War lore. Today we're going to be talking about issue number 10, aka Baron Part 2 of the Gears of War comic book. So we start right where the last issue left off, where the woman stated, More soldiers, soldiers are the last thing we need here. And we see a group of women with a bunch of weapons surrounding Delta Squad. And of course, Baird, being the short fuse that he is, starts pointing his gun at the women. They take offense and start blasting at everybody. So it turns into a huge gunfight. And while this is going on, we see that Dom, Jace, and Cole are investigating another part of this building. And while they're investigating, they see the real true horrors of the birthing farms, where we see that babies were being artificially created in these weird test tube things and it's really gross grotesque and just plain inhumane i understand that they needed to make other people they needed to increase the population but this was a horrible way to go about it and it was just outright disgusting while they're investigating they hear the gunfire so they go back to where marcus and everyone else is we come back to marcus alex and baird in a gunfight here with the women and especially the girl with the white hair there she's being a total psycho and we see Baird just going off talking shit to them and they actually give up because the women tell them to throw down their weapons and we'll stop so marcus actually listens and you know tells baird that it's an order to you know stop fighting back so no one has to die while well, it looks like they're going to be outgunned and at their mercy, we see that Dom, Cole, and Jace sneak up right behind them and tell them to back off. The fight is diffused and they have a normal conversation. And the main thing that's really interesting here is Marcus tells them about the beacon. That's the whole reason why they even came because they got a distress signal. And the women are basically saying, no, we didn't do that. We didn't put out a beacon. We don't need your help. And then we see a little bit of a cut back here to what happened to Jelaine when it was taken over we see that the city was completely overrun by the locusts pretty much everyone was killed and it came down to the women and the children to survive this onslaught and now they were simply fending for themselves and they want nothing to do with the cog we see that Alex reunites with one of the women she knew while she was inside the birthing camps and Marcus and Delta Squad decide to go searching for the beacon. They decide to go look to see what the source of it is so they can stop it. Because not only can it be dangerous by having a beacon that can send out signals to COG, it can also call the Locust. So now they're investigating the area and while they're doing that we see that Dom and Jace are meeting up with the children and acquainting themselves with the women. And we see that these are actually the best two people to do this because Dom and Jace are nice guys. So they are the type of guys that could easily get the trust and respect from these type of people. We see that the children have taken a liking to them and even some of the women have. While they're discussing and acquainting themselves, we see that Alex is talking with the woman here with the white hair by the name of Annalisa. And she's over here questioning Alex and asking her how can she deal with being with the cog after what they did with them. And this is actually one kind of dark fact that she says here that's really kind of messed up. She basically explains the fact that at the young age of 10, the cog was actually injecting hormones into the young girls so they can become able to become pregnant at that young. So it was actually a really messed up thing. They were taking young girls and forcing them into the birthing camps. Yes, we knew about Alex being raped around 11, 12 years old, but it even goes further than that when they're taking 10 year old girls and forcing hormones on them to be able to make them have babies. So that was the one thing that was really messed up. And the one thing I really like that Alex says right here, she says, I don't know how you could even be around the cog, Annalisa says. And Alex says, survival sister, simple as that. When we win this war, I'll be more judgmental. So basically saying, yeah, what they did is messed up, but this whole situation with the locusts is a lot more important than what happened to us. And, you know, focusing on that isn't really going to help. And next we see that Jace is getting acquainted with one of the women here and she's actually taking quite a bit of a liking to him as we can see. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting there but anyways we cut back to Delta Squad investigating the beacon and we find a woman hiding by herself. 
and she looks very tripped out is the best way I can describe it. She seems really outright insane and they're telling her to, you know, come with us, we'll protect you, we'll we'll take care of you and she's like, oh I don't, ha I don't want help, I don't need to leave. And she pulls out a switch which Cole at first thinks is a bomb and she says, oh it's not a bomb silly, it's a beacon. And then they're like, all right, give that to us. You know, we don't need you to be using that beacon. And then this is the part that's really creepy. Bear says, here, look, he gave you an order, nut job. Toss us the goddamn beacon. And she says, but then I couldn't call the bugs. And she pushes the button. And Marcus is like, what the hell did you just do? And we can see that a bunch of locusts are now coming to the beacon because for whatever reason, this insane woman thought it was a good idea to summon them and this is where the comic issue ends and we will find out what happens next in the next issue of the Baron series if you guys like this video please definitely hit that like button and subscribe and tell me what you guys think overall interesting issue um, and I really want to know what happens next here because I read these comics before but it's been so long and I want to know what the heck is up with this psychopathic lady and why she would want to call the locust that's just crazy but anyways guys if you guys like this video please definitely hit that like button and subscribe and tell me what you guys think and thanks for watching guys thanks for watching this video if you want to see my most recent gears of war video hit that link on the left if you want to see any of my other content hit that link on the right thanks for watching guys